Has anybody noticed this offseason the shift of Russell Westbrook's attitude? He's more smiley, better body language. He just looks genuinely pleased to be here. Well, yesterday in training camp, he told reporters that he wants to have an MVP season. MVP Russ? I'm all for it. This past season, he put up really solid stats. 20 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists a night. He played in 78 games. The Lakers' issues were this. They weren't Russell Westbrook, first off. It was that they had guys like Trevor Ariza, DeAndre Jordan, Wayne Ellington, Avery Bradley. They had all these old heads have and play critical moments. And it's just like, well, you know, I love Trevor, but you're 36, bro. You're more of a complimentary piece, not my day one starter getting 30 a night finishing and starting games. So this Lakers roster has improved greatly. And now we're starting to see all these positive stories about how, you know, Patrick Beverly was coming to play the Lakers. Russ let him, Russ let Pat Bev's family have his courtside tickets so that his daughter could see Pat play. It just seems more easy going. Everybody just seems like a huge burden has been lifted. There were big expectations last season. And unfortunately, injuries and the depth of the roster got in the way. And for some reason, Russell Westbrook was the scapegoat. And what did we say on this channel sometime around right now, one year ago? We said this, if the Lakers season does not go as planned, Russell Westbrook will 100% be the scapegoat. As much as I love LeBron James, when he doesn't win a championship, the years LeBron doesn't make or win the NBA Finals, if he were to miss the playoffs, there, I said, there will always be a scapegoat. There is no way, shape, or form it's not going to fall on both Frank Vogel and Russell Westbrook. That's exactly what happened. So seeing Russ just happy-go-lucky because this is what he's been his whole career. Whether he was in OKC, whether he was in Houston, whether he was in Washington, he was always this very smiley, vocal, you could just tell he was a leader. You knew Russ was a leader, and he put in the work, he demonstrated it by his actions, he was producing, he was healthy. You could just tell Russ is a genuine human being with genuine human emotions, and a lot of people were able to look past the fact that, yeah, he's a former MVP, he's a great basketball player, but guess what? He's also a great person. And so to see Russell Westbrook in media day say, listen, I want to prove everybody wrong and I want to have an MVP season. I want to be the MVP. It just sh sent shivers down my spine because I'm like, yes, this is exactly what I want. The Lakers as good of a roster as they have, with the way the season ended last year, they have not only a chip on their shoulder, but they're also the underdog. And this, I believe that the league, the NBA teams, fans, naysayers, the whole nine yards, the Lakers, especially LeBron, Russ, and Anthony Davis, I don't think these are players you want to necessarily underestimate because they will shut you up and they will shut you up fast. And they're also going to flex on you. They're also going to have a fun time. Which, if you're a Lakers fan, that's exactly what you want to see. It's music to my ears, baby. So let me know what you guys are thinking about Russ's comments and just the way he's looking right now. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. Let's try and hit 100 likes on today's video. I'll see you guys later.